Welcome back to Text Mix, and as promised, with me right now, Patrice Pike. Thanks so much for coming My by. My pleasure. You've been on the road. You said earlier we were talking almost 15 months straight. Yeah. What, what, what was the last place you've been? I just got back from Italy. How was that? It was really awesome, and it was kind of half holiday and half playing some shows, so I got a little break, and it was really beautiful over there. Was it, was it a little bit more rest and relaxation than Yeah, shows? the last couple of times that I went, we played pretty much every day and would only get like one or two days off in two weeks, so this time I had a whole week off when I first got over there, and I had just come off a, a month-long tour, so I got to go to Florence, and which is a really cool... You know, it's an ancient city, but it's also really progressive in terms of its, you know, modern life, the way that it flows. And it's always been really progressive. So it's the kind of place where, you know, you go into the countryside in Italy and some people are really freaked out. You see tattoos all over the place right. over here in the States, but they're really freaked out by it. And I carry around like linen shirts and stuff just so I can get a break from the <laughs> stairs. Right. But then you go to Florence or like Bologna and it's really, you know, people look at it as a, a, a form of art, you know. So Florence was like four days and just saw a, a lot of amazing art and ate great food and had a great time. Well, was it hard to go, you know, this is a lot of fun, but I got I to gotta come back. I gotta well, it was also my birthday. Oh, well, there you go. So, and we went to um, the opera in Verona. And Verona is a city where it's, I guess it's where uh, Shakespeare was writing Romeo and Juliet in. It was supposed to be set in Verona. And there was this massive outdoor arena, and I went and to the opera on the night of my birthday. That was fantastic. And we bought tickets um, just separately from each other because we bought, a, bought them on the street. Right. So I went to the opera and sat totally with strangers, speaking all these different languages around me. And the sun went down, and the orchestra started and it was La Traviata. It was oh, wow. amazing. It's really that was fantastic. incredible birthday. Yeah, that, that sounds like you can't get much better than, than going to the opera on your birthday yeah, in, in Rome. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. And that's the thing. I mean, traveling, a lot of people, you know, like you were saying earlier when we were talking, you were like, no thanks when I told yeah. you how long I've been on the road. And it's little things like that that make the long days of driving and, and being away from home. I mean, it's a memory of a lifetime. So. Right. I got a question for you because part of a lot of people obviously here in Austin know who you are, know what you're about, and then you, you do the TV show with Rockstar Supernova, and people kind of see who you are. Is it weird for people that you have no idea who they are, and you go to Milwaukee or some random city, and but they feel like they know you, but you've never met anyone? Is that a weird situation? Well, it's weird when someone seems to have a really irrational sort of way of approaching you and letting you know that they really don't have in any part of their mind a, a grounded sense that they don't really know you personally. Right. I mean, there's a line between someone, you know, approaching you and really feeling warm towards you and relaying that they get you because I write really personal songs, right. you know, and I'm also a really open person. I like to be open about, you know, details about life and stuff, and, and I like for people to be that way with me. So that's a really comfortable place for me to be in, but when someone really seems to, ha is to be kind of, a, have a diluted sense, like they know you, right. you know, it, it's a little weird, but it doesn't happen too often, and when it does, oh, over the years, I've kind of figured out how to handle that. So how do you, you know? ha handle that? You know, it's it's important to have boundaries to, to be, you know, warm towards someone and get a sense of if they're, you know, most people aren't dangerous. Right. And if they are, um, you're not going to be around for long and you, you develop experience with how to cope. And also, I travel with bands all the time, you know, who are like my my brothers and they watch out for me and everyone always has. so. It's okay. Okay, good. I just wanted because I just thought it was it, it's it's an interesting thing I was thinking about on the drive today. I was like, it, your life's been chronicled, especially on, on national TV, and I, I I could understand how some people could go, oh, I know all about her because, you know, I saw twelve episodes of, of Rockstar Supernova. Yeah, yeah and but you know what? I mean, um, as far as that show was concerned, 
um, I was just, my, it was my sister's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Joy. <laughs> and we had family over and we were talking about the show um, last summer and we were talking about how um, it's been really cool for the last few years apparently in the media for stars or celebrities to be kind of screwed up, right? you know? And everybody seems to be, or at least I am, we are, Joy and I were talking about it, really tired of that whole scene of, oh, she's in, so-and-so's in jail again, so-and-so's driving yeah. drunk again, I won't name who. But, I mean, lots of people are <laughs> like that. And they were talking about how it's kind of becoming, it's looking like it's becoming kind of cool to be, to have your stuff together a little bit more. A little more, grounded. Be a little more healthy. <laughs> right. And, and that's, I've had to be more healthy because it's a better quality of life and I'm a singer and I like to feel good and, and have a lot of energy to do things like travel all the time and play off the hook shows and so anyway point being about the show is I was living a more healthy lifestyle on that show and I didn't get a lot of face time on the show because there was no you know? drama not there a was... lot of drama they got the only drama in two months that I was right. involved in and you know I did yoga and swam and hung out. I drank beer, you know, like the rest of them. Right. I was up until six in the morning in Vegas with Tommy Lee until they carried him to bed. Nice. And I was the last one standing there. There's probably night. very few people who could say that. But they didn't that. show that part because <laughs> they couldn't show the diversity of like all of that about me. Right. And, um, and that's cool. It doesn't matter. That show was such a tiny part of my life. But, you know, it's like, the, as far as what we were talking about, about being on the show and people like recognizing me, the show had an impact in terms of my fans like really being proud of me and a lot of people from in the past who've, you know, haven't really kept up with me for a while, getting in touch with me again. And then a big portion of new people who've never seen me before, but who really related to loving my performances and getting me as right. an artist. and. So there aren't, I'm sure some of the people that were on the show, you know, they kind of got really brought up in a way that made them look like stars and they had a lot of kind of obsessive fans toward the end and I, I'm glad that that didn't happen <laughs> to me. So I'm grateful for that. Well, we're glad you're back in Austin and playing tomorrow night at Antone's. Mm -hmm. Should be a lot of fun. And we've got something cool going on here tonight at seven o'clock. You uh, were nice enough to come into our studio a couple months ago and perform and we have an Emmy Live with you premiering. With the band. It's the world premiere yeah. with the band with John uh -huh. Thomason uh -huh. uh, on bass who uh, I know he was gone with Brett Denon and he's been around but it's Yeah he's actually gone right now too but um, I have a great a friend of mine Glenn McGregor is playing bass and he's been around town for a long time lots of people right. are familiar with his playing 54 seconds and a bunch of, of different bands and then the drummer Brad Ulsizer yeah. who's who everyone will see tonight on on your show and then um, uh, my amazing uh, guitar player, Matthew Johnson, he's killer. And I saw the footage actually yeah. yesterday. I got a link for Dragonfly, which has been on the website for MTV. And wow, I was like, it looks really good. You guys did a great job. It's <laughs> so, wonderful. So there you go. If, if Patrice is going to give it the stamp of approval, then uh, everyone should tune in in about, what, 15, 20 minutes and see uh, you on our television station. Yeah, the editing looks great. You guys kicked ass with that. Thanks so much. Awesome. And you can catch Patrice tomorrow night at Antone's. What time are you going to go on? Well, the great thing is um, I invited a band from Houston called Sky Blue 72, and they are a trio. Uh, the lead singer is, um, her name's Jessica. She and her brother are the rhythm section. She plays uh, kit and sings lead at the same time. Awesome. And they're kind of a pop punk band. It's really cool. The, the lead guitar players off the hook. They're really tight. And then Adrian in the Sickness right, right after that. And uh, a lot of people know Adrian from being in Hell's Bells, the ACDC mm -hmm. tribute band, but her original band is awesome. Nina Singh is um, on drums and Heather's on bass. And then we're doing a couple of Led Zeppelin songs as a Led Zeppelin tribute <clears throat> at the end of their set with Very me singing cool. lead, which will be a lot of fun. We've been talking about doing that for a long time. And then my band will come on, and then we'll do another song at the very end of the night. Um, well, everyone all A together. really killer Led Zeppelin song with the four ladies again. So Awesome. So get there early, night. and then uh, stay the whole time and have a blast. Thanks so much for coming by. My pleasure. Here's, good to see you. Good to see you. Here's Patrice Pike right now from Anemi Live. We shot with her, which was at Antone's.